Alrighty, hey guys, it is Mitch Games 24 7 here today with another video for you guys. And today we're going to be going over the new presets in Fortnite. And basically, I've just got a couple skin combos here that you can add and make presets, and they're just going to be look. They're just going to be looking super clean. It's going to be convenient. You're going to have them all there to go. So if you guys are excited for some more skin combo videos on the channel, it has been ages since I've last done one of these. Make sure to smack a like on the video and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel as well. Coming up on 164,000 subscribers on the channel. So if you guys would like to smash that like button and subscribe once again, I would appreciate it. And if you guys do want to support me even further than that, make sure to use code Mitcho in the item shop if you are picking up any skins from the item shop. I would appreciate it. Use code Mitcho. Anyways, without any further ado, let's get into the video. So the first preset here that we have is the Catalyst preset. I really like this one. I went for like a lot of color based combos here. Like that's mainly the most important thing here. And I basically just grabbed what I had in my locker and what I could make with it. So obviously we've got the Catalyst. It's really nice. Uh, we specifically have the second version of it with the snowstorm color which looks really really nice we put the perfect wings on the back of that sort of just to get that white and white look which came out really 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 solid looking uh we've then chucked on the icicle pickaxe as well i didn't really have too many white pickaxes so i went for like a blue kind of kind of thing because that sort of mixed and matched with the uh top half of a hoodie there and then for the glider we just sort of went with downpour because i was running out of ideas i didn't really know what to use so i thought Downpour with the water coming off of it sort of actually went really nice. Then for the wrap, we ended up going with Radiant Blue, which I believe is a PlayStation exclusive wrap. So um, this is actually one of the rarer ones, but it ended up coming out rather nice looking and just com really completes the look. Next up, we've got my man Peely coming in. I specifically chose the new season version of him that obviously has him in a tux. I reckon it looks really sick. You could use any variant of him here though. Like realistically, you could get the gold variant if you have it already. You could use the shadow variant. You could use the default variant. Hell, you could even use regular Peely. But I went with this specific variant. I just thought that this version of Agent Peely looked the best. Uh, I put on the Nana cape. I figured that made a lot of sense. Obviously, just having this all be banana themed uh, as much as I possibly could. I'm sure there's like some banana um, pickaxes besides this, but this is just the one that I like the most. It's sort of got that like black and gold to it that makes him like obviously go really well with the agent. It looks like the guy's been like, you know, harvesting gold and whatnot. So I thought that that sort of fit the look a little bit better and the theme of the skin. And then I went with this glider as well, which you actually get by winning a game in chapter two, season two. And it's, it's actually really nice. It fits the agent theme once again, which I sort of was going for with the Peely here. As for the wrap, we just went real basic and we just put a banana skin peel on it with the right one. So yeah, it's a really solid combo and that's that's the second one out of the way. Next up, we've probably got my personal favorite of the bunch here. This is the 8-Ball versus Scratch skin. So specifically, I've used the Scratch variant here. There's obviously other ones you could use like the gold. Um, there's the Corrupted variant too, which looks rather nice, but it doesn't really mix and match as well with anything. So I, I went with the Scratch variant because it's just a basic white and obviously ignition back bling. Uh, the guy sort of looks a little bit like a ninja if I'm being honest. So him having like a sword on the back of that back, back bling makes a lot of sense. And it just sort of came out and again just fit the theme of the skin really really well. Uh, the fusion scythe is what we're using but specifically the Zev version is what I would recommend. Unfortunately I don't have it unlocked but it is definitely um, what I would recommend if you, can, uh, if you have it unlocked already. And then I would also come in and use the fusion coil, but again, I'd come over to the Zev version of it just to get that white and gold theme running throughout the entire skin. And we're going to continue the white and gold with the Zev once again for the wrap. It's a solid just combo. The colors all match and just really complement one another. And this is honestly probably my favorite of the bunch of the presets that I'm going to be showing you guys today. Next up, we've got the Ghoul Trooper, man. This was actually one that was sort of hard to do because the Ghoul Trooper is like... One of those skins that's really sweaty, um, I wanted to do the OG variant of it, but I didn't think too many people had it, so I didn't bother. Um, so I'm just doing the basic version of it. Obviously the most iconic one that everybody remembers, the um, original OG version of the Ghoul Trooper. And I ended up whacking the Crystal Llama. For whatever reason, the green on the green there actually just really complements one another and goes together really well. Uh, the pickaxes... I mean, they're okay, they definitely could have been a little bit better, but like the, the Cosmic Cleavers, it was probably the closest I could have got, um, just from what I had in my locker personally. Same with the Glider, I didn't know what to use, so I used the Palm Tree, which I believe you got from winning a game in Season 8, so it shows that you've been playing for a little while now, 
and you're consistently winning games. Then for the wrap, I just came with the festive paper. This is actually one of my favorite wraps in the game. And it was one of the first ones introduced as well. And it just sort of fits the color theme of green again for the ghoul trooper. So it came out looking rather nice. Next up, we've got the lace. This is like one of the sweaty, like skin combos out of this list if i'm being honest it's really solid i love just the the pink and the purple on her hair and how she's got the dragon on her chest like this is a really solid looking skin it always has been whenever i get killed by the lace in game it's always sweats using it we've got the indigo wings going over i don't know how i feel about these wings they are a little bit big but the color scheme once again it just feels like it feels like this is the the back bling for this skin even though it's not it sort of goes together that well and it just really fits the theme of like a like punk kind of girl, I guess. That's sort of where I get from it. Uh, we got the Stella Axe here. I wanted to use this. I know this isn't this is gonna be something that not everybody has, but if you do have it, it really complements the rest of the skin super well. Uh, we've obviously got the just the pink of the galaxy and the purple, and there's a bit of blue there as well, which sort of is like its own unique color, which kind of adds a little bit of flavor to the combo there. As for the glider, I just brought in the storm glider. Truthfully, I can't remember actually how you get this one, but it's another one of those umbrellas, which, you know, I prefer umbrellas over gliders. They're, I feel like you're harder to shoot out of the air if you've got an umbrella. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, yeah, and we've got the gemstone for the wrap, which really just, you know, completes the look and overall just makes it look very, very nice. Next up, we've got the iconic skin. This is another one that not everybody is going to have, but I see this skin around so much that, like, I feel like it deserved its own combo. So obviously we've got the iconic skin itself. I figured we'd put in something a little bit new. We've got the Kabag, which is actually from this season's Battle Pass. So yeah, I felt like it went together really well. It's got the boom and the cartoon text on it, which, you know, adds a little bit of uh, characteristics to the skin in a really solid way. I'll put the Onslaught pickaxe on, which is something that was way back in season four which shout out to you guys if you were playing back then drop a comment below if you guys were and tell me what your favorite thing about the season was for me it was the thanos game mode i absolutely love that game mode man it was absolutely wild dude it was wild like you could do so much insane stuff in it next up we've obviously got this glider here as well which is from season nine it's just it's just red. I really wish it didn't have blue flames coming out of it. If it had black flames or even red, it would have looked a lot better. But, I mean, it is what it is. And then we've just gone for the ultra red wrap to sort of get the red color theme once again. And it wouldn't be Fortnite without Ninja. So I specifically used this variant of him. Like, realistically, you could use, like, whatever variant you want. But this one, I felt just, like you know, fitted Ninja the best. I obviously put his back bling on the Ninja's edge. I couldn't really figure out too many other back blings to use. So this is going to be one of those rare occasions where I actually mix the same set. And yeah, I just felt like his back bling just belonged on him. It would be criminal to put something else on him. For the pickaxe, I didn't want to use his full combo. So like, I didn't want to use his pickaxe and stuff as well. So I went with the permafrost. It's from season five. It's actually one of my favorite pickaxes in the game. It's really nice. We've got the, again, this is from winning a game in season nine i want to say it was either season nine or season 10 it was season nine um if i'm not mistaken and yeah it's it, it looks nice it's blue but like it's sort of see-through as well again like we're really going for color themes here and then we've just got the ripley wrap here as well but this will probably be replaced for something um that looks like a better blue down the line but that's what we've got currently which i believe was introduced in the last season after Ninja, we've got the Link skin, specifically the red version of her, and like the, the reason I did that was because of this that actually only just came out, and it is the Corrupted Ball. The Corrupted version of the ball really goes well with the red links, like it, they sort of complement each other, and we've got the Mech Axe here, again, I would really prefer if it didn't have the blue flame, but like, the rest of the pickaxe is so solid that I, I've just sort of allowed it. And then we've got the Paper Paracel, I believe this is called. This is from Season 3. As you can see, I'm using a lot of umbrellas here. But it's sort of nice to just have a bunch of different presets and different umbrellas if you do have all of these. If you've been playing every season like I have, you're going to have all of these co collected. And yeah, it's again, just the color theme of red. We come down the bottom and once again, we've got Ultra Red making another appearance. Next up, we've got Power Cord. I think this is a skin that, like, you never really see anymore, but it was one of those skins that when it, like, wasn't 
popular, it was really rare, man, and like, that sort of made people want it. And then it came out, and just nobody really bought it, as far as I know. I put the Skirmish back bling on it, which is one of the hardest back blings in the game to get. You actually have to buy Save the World to get it. Um, I don't know if they still give it to you now, because I remember, like, it was like an exclusive skin for a little bit there. It's... It sort of fits the skin, like I can't really think of too many other backlings that fit it besides its own. So I went with the skirmish there because it's it's not too small, uh, it's not too big, sorry, it's a bit of a small backling. We obviously went with the rift edge pickaxe, like they literally couldn't be any other pickaxe that we would use here, it's just so nice. And then I went a little bit different and I ended up using this glider here, which I don't even know what the name of it is, but it is really solid. It's got the pink in the middle, which if it didn't have the pink, I wouldn't have added it. But the pink and the gold sort of complements the rest of the skin. And then we come to the Cuddle Hearts wrap, which I believe was from the Share the Love event way back last year. And finally, we've got our last preset here. This is the Shadow Ops, specifically the white version of it. And we've got the Ridgeback backlink. I don't know why, but the red on these wings really complements just the, the little bits of red that the Shadow Ops, this specific variant of the Shadow Ops, has on it. Like, they just complement each other and go together really damn well. So I thought, well, that looks solid, but what am I going to do for the pickaxe? So the pickaxe, I went with the med axe because it's sort of got the same, like, white, bit of black, and a bit of red theme, which kind of matched it all. As for the glider, I couldn't find um, anything too decent, so I went with the Kaboom because this is actually a really cool glider that a lot of people like using, and it's got black on the back, it's got red on it, and a bit of yellow, which sort of keeps in line with the theme, so I was like, yeah, that'll do, and I don't know, I sort of like how they all go together. Coming in with a wrap though, this is the last thing, we've got the blasted wrap, this is like the Borderlands theme one that had like the cartoon graphics, I felt like it was super unique, and it would have been criminal to not incorporate it in some way, shape, or form, so here it is making an appearance in the last preset. But if you have any other presets that you guys would like to see or you guys have made, let me know about it in the comment section below. I would love to hear about it. Anyways, that is going to be the video. Thank you guys for watching once again. If you guys are new, consider subscribing. It would help me out a lot. And comment Micho in the comment section below if you made it this far into the video. Anyways, that's going to be the video, and I will see you guys in another video.